Hello, welcome to Drive Institute. My name is Ambrose Motian and I'll be showing you on how to make a tippy tap. Why is it important to have a tippy tap? This is one way of maintaining hygiene. And when we talk of hygiene, maybe once you have visited latrine or toilet uh, from the garden, you can just wash your hands from here. And especially in Africa, where we don't have running water on our taps, this is the solution to that. I'm sure that by the end of the day, once I've shown you on how to make uh, a tippy tap, you'll also be in a position to make one back in your home. Thank you. Materials needed. One, three wooden branches of two meter length. Two, one thinner stick with one meter length. Three, a machete or panga to cut the wood. Four, nails. Five, a pair of pliers. Six, a piece of wire. Seven, a hammer, eight, a string, nine, a five liter container with a cup, 10, piece of soap, 11, a clover, 12, a tape measure, and lastly, you need water. Steps to follow. Cut three branches of wood of two meters length, Using a clover, dig two holes of 1.5 meters apart. Put the two meter stick in the holes, then put back the soil. Hammer the other stick. Cut one thinner branch of one meter length. Attach a piece of string one meter length to one of the sticks. Mark the location of the hole on the container around 12 centimeter below the cup. Mark a hole in the cup using a nail. Put the rope which is attached to the stick through the hole in the cup. Make a knot in the rope which cannot pass through the hole. Fill the container with water up to the level of the hole. Screw the cup back to the container. Then using the wire, tie the container filled with water to hang. Adjust the length of the rope such that the end of the stick is about 15 cm above the ground. So this is the stick that you'll be stepping on to make sure that the water comes out. And why do so? You'll not use your hands, no jams will be transmitted. Remember to install a container to hold your soap.